just accomplished one of my childhood dreams by hitting an absolutely insane YouTube milestone. But before I show you guys what I got in this box, I need Jamal Jackson to also accomplish one of his childhood dreams. Yes. You see, I need Jamal Jackson to destroy his arch nemesis Guadalupe once and for all. Now, after Jamal was outsmarted by Guadalupe for the second time, oh, hell no, man. he was at the verge of ending it all. In fact, right after the incident occurred, I caught Jamal standing on the ledge of my table with the look of madness and self-destruction in his eyes. He was about to jump. Oh, so I grabbed my BBC out of my pants within the blink of an eye and I used it to lure Jamal away from the edge. And once he was far enough, I grabbed the depressed frog, stuck him in his enclosure, Hi. gave him a mouth-watering BBC, <coughs> Tasty. and a delectable candy corn cockroach. <coughs> Hooray! After the glizzy guzzler devoured his cocks, I knew something needed to be done. Guadalupe needed to be sacrificed. Three days later, and the bozo was finally caught. And like any good cop, I began bullying the roach in hopes of getting a reaction that would allow me to use deadly force. Going straight for the jugular, I brought up Guadalupe's deceased parents. You know, Martha and Fred, the two ivory cockroaches Jamal devoured last week. Bruh. So, how does it feel, Guadalupe? How does what feel? Being captured? No, not having any parents, you loser! Ha! Got him! Hey, yo, what the f- Bro, you and Jamal swear you did something. They might have been my biological parents or whatever, but they did not raise me. I was adopted dummy. God damn it, are you serious? Yes, bozo. Oh, fuck. Anyways, Guadalupe was finally captured, and even though I couldn't use deadly force, I knew someone that could. However, Jamal Jackson won't be able to survive another L. So I got on my iPad and I diligently rewatched both death matches between Guadalupe and Jamal Jackson. And it finally hit me! The reason Guadalupe's been so dominant over Jamal in the deathmatch setting has to do with the substrate. You see, ivory cockroaches originate from South America, and since the nymphs are so big, round, and juicy, they're pretty upon by pretty much everything that comes into contact with them. As a result, these protein-packed glizzy gushers have evolved the ability to spend most of their time underneath the ground. Additionally, their subterrestrial lifestyle keeps them out of harm's way from most predators. It's also the reason why Guadalupe's been violating Jamal Jackson on a regular basis. I mean, look! Bro's simply burrowing into the substrate and that's it! So, theoretically, if I use a container without substrate for the next tournament, it would be an even Steven's type of battle. So I prepared the arena and got Jamal ready for his big day. I showered, pampered, and massaged thy sturdy froggo before finally placing Jamal into the Coliseum. We proceeded to run a few practice runs before the main event. Before long, Jamal finally looked me in the eyes and said, Bring me the cock. So that's exactly what I did. I pulled Guadalupe out of his holding cell and gave him a farewell kiss goodbye. Wow. Since I very well knew that this was the end of Guadalupe, I took one last look at Jamal and his face was stone cold. The look in his eyes reassured me how badly he wanted his vengeance. Finally, I dropped Guadalupe in on his back and flipping Jamal Jackson low-key forgot where he was. Huh? But that's okay, because Jamal finally snapped out of it before guzzling Guadalupe whole. Vengeance was finally served, and with hard work and dedication, Jamal finally accomplished his dreams. This monumental achievement left Jamal utterly speechless, and while he dwelled in his victory, I surprised the glizzy guzzling goat with his very own crown. Bruh. Anyways, it's finally time to see what's inside the box. Holy freaking crap, guys, we actually did it. With the help of all you fabulous people out there, the West Side Reptiles YouTube channel hit a mind-boggling 1 million subscribers. Never once in a million, scratch that, a billion years would I have ever imagined reaching such a mind-blowing milestone. Ever since I was a little kid, I would only ever fantasize about being a YouTuber. And back when I first started posting to social media, I was only looking for a place to share my love for nature. Nature. Never once did I think I could get this far. But we did it, guys. Because of your love and support, I now owe you guys my life. Huh? Nah, but for real, guys, I am forever grateful for every single one of my followers across all platforms. And let this sexy play button represent that anything is possible. All you gotta do is stay consistent and believe in yourself. Peace.